Hey guys, this is Michael Cheap with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. This is going to be a kind of a beginner video for you, teaching uh, basically using the song, uh, theme song from Mission Impossible to teach you a couple of guitar techniques. If you already know them, they're they're a good practice technique if you're kind of a beginner, or if you just like the song, then you can do you can uh, play it just for fun. But we're going to learn Mission Impossible, and we're going to learn two parts of it. We're going to learn it in B minor, so that we can use some open notes here. So I'm not really concerned if it's in the exact key with the real song, but um, now if you're, one quick thing before we start, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I will put some of these beginner lessons on YouTube, um, what I'm about to say next um, applies to my uh, members of my website at mikesguitarlessons.com. If you guys want to go ahead and go and download the tabs for this um, lesson, go ahead and do that. I'll have both parts all the way tabbed out. And that's true for all of my lessons uh, here in the A to Z guitar lessons section of the website. So uh, if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, please go check it out. It's mikesguitarlessons.com. Now we're going to start off uh, with these two different parts. One is going to be, uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't want uh, anybody to be wondering what these weird noises are. So that's what this is. This is my, our pretty new puppy. She's pretty loud. She can't breathe too well. So sorry for any of the weird noises that come out of her during the uh Give me the lesson. Um, okay, okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with uh, the beginning part. Okay, I promise she's okay. She just makes weird noises. Uh, that's CC, by the way, everybody. Um, okay, so the first part is going to sound like this. The main part everybody recognized, uh, recognizes. <laughs> repeated over and over again. Now the second part is going to be played up here and I'll show it to you in the second half of the video. It's going to sound like this. Okay, and that gets repeated over and over again. Okay, so uh, again, download the tabs and follow along in the video. Um, let's go ahead and start with this first section of the song. We're going to start off here in the second fret of the A string. And we're going to play the second fret. Use your middle finger here. We're going to play that second fret seven times in a row. But the rhythm is going to be, you're going to start off with a long one, and then it's going to alternate. Short, long, short, long, short, long. So it's going to go long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want you to alternate pick, meaning go uh, start one direction and then continue to go the opposite direction. So if you start with the downstroke, then go up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Oh, sorry, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Now after those first seven notes that you see in the first measure, um, you're going to play open on the D string. Okay. And then you're going to use your second finger again on the second fret of the D string this time. Now when you play this note, this is one of the things we're working on here, you're going to pull off to open, meaning you're going to pluck one time with your right hand, pluck this D string, and then pull off with your left hand, making that open note on the D string come out, just like that. And if you can't get it to come out just a little bit, you can pull to the side a little bit, you know, pull down off to the side or up to the side and kind of re-pluck that note, trying not to hit the other strings, okay? So a lot of techniques being worked on, even though this song is pretty simple. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Open on the D string. Second, pull off to open. Okay, that's the first half of this um, lower part. Now, let's do the second half. You're going to go back to the second fret of the A string and play the same thing again, as far as those first seven notes go. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to play open on the A string, so we're staying on the A string here, open, then use your first finger to play first fret on the A string, and that's it. Once you, you're going to go open first, and then you're going to go to second fret on the A string, but you're really starting over right there. So you go open first, and start over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
that part just goes over and over and over again. Okay? Now, um, that's the first part. And I've got a little loop prepared here to, so I can play along. Okay? And show you how this second part falls in line with that. simple app on my phone called uh, Jamma. Awesome um, app. It's made by Positive Grid. And uh, it's good for looping, you know, for you know, five or ten bucks you can have a, a looper plugged into your amp and just uh, create any kind of background music you can think of. So if uh, you don't have anything like that, um, check it out. It's certainly a lot cheaper than uh, standalone models you can actually buy. Okay, now we're going to start on the second part of the higher part of this um, song. Now, if you've got a friend to play along with, that'd be great too to play that bottom part. But uh, basically, here are the notes that you're going to play. What you're going to do is start off by barring across the seventh fret on the E string and the B string. Note that's these uh, skinnier two strings. Okay, barring across just means you're using one finger across both of them. Just lay flat across. And make sure you can hear both of them when you play it. Now, that's actually not your first note though. You've just got that prepared for when you need it. Your first note is actually going to be your pinky in the tenth fret, right here, on the skinny E string. Okay? Now, when you play this, I know I'm speaking to beginners here for the most part, so when you play this, don't tuck these two fingers back behind the guitar neck. You don't want to do that. Keep them out here above the guitar neck, not touching strings, but just comfortably above it. Okay? So play tenth fret on the E string and then pull off with your pinky. And what will come out is the 7th fret on the E string that you're already holding down. So, okay. Now your 3rd note is just going to be the B string, 7th fret, but you've already got it held down with your first finger because it's barred across. That's why we do that. Okay, one more time. Alright. Now, that's the first measure. We've got four measures here. Second measure is this. We play the same two first notes. Ten, pull off the seven on the E string. Oop, I pulled off a little too hard. There we go. And then you use your pinky to go down. And I want you to use your pinky because this we're working on technique here. So get used to using that pinky. You're going to play tenth fret on the G string. That's the third string from the bottom. Okay? All right. That's the second measure. Now, third measure is, again, same first two notes, 10 to 7, and then use your third finger to play the ninth fret of the G string. Okay, so far we've got... All right, that was three measures. The last measure, the fourth one, you're going to still play the first two notes again. And then tenth, oh, sorry, then uh, eighth fret on the B string, use your middle finger. And you're going to play it three times, one, two, three, and then pick it up so that your bar is playing the note again, seventh fret on the B string, and play it three times. So that last measure goes eighth fret, seventh fret on the B string, okay? So all together, it sounds like this. second half of the song, the part that's on top, and it's really, they're going on at the same time. Okay? Now, I want to show you where those fall in line. If you get a friend to play that bottom part, or you have some way to loop the music like I have, then you, you need to know where to place these notes. So it goes like this. When, you're, when the second uh, lower part is going on, when it starts, the very first note, you might if you've got a loop, you may want it to go around one time so you can be ready. When it goes open first, and then actually the first note, right when that first note is played of the seven at the beginning, um, that's when you start your first riff. So, and then right when that one is played, you play tenth fret on the E string and start your riff. Okay? Now, 
The next one comes, so it goes like that. So play the first riff. And then when you go back to the, if you remember, you go back to seven, uh, second fret notes on the A string in a row, you know, seven in a row. So again, on the first one of those, you start your second measure of this higher part. Okay? And then, when it so basically, you, at the beginning, you had two measures. The first one sounded like this, and the second one sounded like this. Okay? At the beginning of each one of those, you start these higher measures. So at the beginning of the first one, and the beginning of the second one, beginning of the third, uh, the first one again when it repeats, and the begin of, beginning of the um, second one as it has uh, repeats the second time. So, okay. Now I'll play along with it so you can actually see it in action, um, and that'll be it. Okay, I'm going to let it go through a couple of times just so you can hear it. So here we go. Okay. Now that's uh, that's it. You're just going to repeat those parts over and over again. Now there's more things we could add to it, and I did a specific version here for beginners, so that you could use some open notes and stuff like that here. But um, even though this is a beginner song, there's a lot of techniques being worked on. Pull-offs, using your pinky, stretching out when you have to keep this bar down and use your different fingers, pinky and third finger and middle finger. Um, alternate picking, meaning going up and up and down. Sometimes that's referred to as picking economics, but um, that's, I, I usually refer to it as alternate picking. And um, anyways, if you, you know, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, uh, email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com. If you're watching on the website, um, just go to the next video. It's uh, Remember, these lessons are meant for to take a beginner all the way from beginner lessons all the way through advanced. So just watch every video in a row, and it's just like you're having lessons with me, except you can have one lesson uh, a week, um, one lesson every day, five lessons a day. Just keep going through the videos. Uh, just make sure you've got each technique down before you move on. So... Um, Again, I'm Michael Cheek with MikesGuitarLessons.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck.